Rockin' in the Free World was written by Neil Young in February of 1989 while he was on tour with his band The Restless. The song idea came about when the band discovered that their concert tour of Russia was cancelled. Neil and the band were really disappointed that they weren't going to get to travel to Russia, and the guitarist Frank Pancho San Pedro said, we'll have to keep on rocking in the free world. The phrase really struck Neil, and he thought it could be a great hook for a song about all the turmoil that was going on in the world at the time. He had the full song written the next day, and it was one of his biggest hits of the 80s. The song appears on Neil Young's album Freedom, released in 1989. The song is written in 4-4 time, it's in the key of E minor, or G major, and it's recorded at 132 beats per minute. There's actually only four simple sections, an intro, a verse, a chorus, and then an interlude. So let's check out what it looks like on the guitar. It's actually really easy to play, and you'll be sounding amazing in no time. So the intro, you're playing the low E string, and the E note on the A string, seventh fret. So it sounds like this. And then, you can drop your third finger down and bar the seventh fret and play the second, third, and fourth strings. And that shape actually comes from a D bar chord that looks like this. But instead of playing the root note here, you're only playing the fourth, third, and second string. Then on the next chord, you're barring those same three strings with your first finger. And that chord comes from this C bar chord shape. And you're not playing the root again, you're just playing the fourth, third, and second strings. So the intro would sound like this. Then the verse section just goes into big open chords. So you're going to start with the E minor chord, but it's actually an E minor 7 because you're going to add your 3rd finger to the 3rd fret 2nd string. Or you can also play it with your 4th finger, like this. Then you're going to drop down to the D chord, and then to the C chord. Then when you get to the C chord, remember to push the rhythm, so it sounds like this. Then you're going to go into the second half of the verse, where the rhythm is a bit straighter and muted, and you're not going to do the push on the C anymore, so it sounds like this. And you can spice things up a bit on that verse by playing the single notes of the chord. It sounds like this. Then when you get to the chorus, the song really opens up because you're going to hit this massive G chord that's going to sound huge. So it looks like this. Then you're going to play a D chord. And then a C chord. Then when you get to the C chord, you're going to do a small bass run from the C note to the B note and push on the E minor and then back to the G again. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. Then in the interlude section, you're just playing an A power chord. So you can take your first finger and bar across the second fret and it sounds like this. Put each section together and you can play along. So play along with the original recording, I'm going to have a link down below. And if you want a way easier way to play the B minor bar chord, check out this video. See you in the next one.